Hi! Hey! Today we will survey this flower bed in front of the castle with the Trimble Catalyst DA2. Let's start. What do we need? Okay, let us, uh, yeah, we have the catalyst there, but I think you need to assemble the rod. <laughs> the rod, the yeah. rod. Here it's a carbon rod. rod, two poles, two meter. Yes, you can screw it together. Screw it together. <laughs> and then I think I need to attach the tablet holder or the phone holder in this case, because we are going to use today not an Android device, but an iPhone. Yes. So, let's mount the tablet holder. Let's unbox the Trimble Catalyst DH2. Wow! Ta-da! There is the uh, antenna. Let's put it on top of the... Ooh. So, we attached the uh, antenna. And let's see what's more in the box. There is the power bank. Power bank, because we need a power bank. We need power. We need power. We need more power. Yeah. Let's power up the Trimble Catalyst. So, let's attach the power bank. It goes with some rubbery thing. <laughs> rubbery thing. <laughs> Rubber. Then uh, we need to uh, get the antenna into the power bank, click, then press on. I think you first had to press on in the power bank. <laughs> oh, <laughs> true. Let's see, where's the, oh, there's, oh, that's a very small one. Is it on? It is on, yeah. So then I have to press on, on the antenna receiver and it blinks blue. It blinks blue, yes. So now the iPhone. Yeah. Let's see if we can make this work. iPhone. We installed the Trimble Mobile Manager app and we made a pairing with the Trimble DA2. So now we are ready to start. Yeah. We have to make a connection with this DA2 and we will use Mobile Manager for that. So we open the Mobile Manager app and then there is this option connect to position source. It's now off but to get this position, exact position of this DA2 we need to turn it on. And now we have to wait till we get a position. We don't have to do anything else except for waiting and we already have an RTK fix and now it's differential. And now we have to wait again. <laughs> of course, now there is a fix again. Yeah, fix. So we can start with the best land survey app there is to land survey this nice flower bed. Uh, let's click on App Loss Survey Wizard. Click OK. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, because every time we uh, land survey, and that's my quote, every time everything you land survey needs a name. So how to do that? We go to the layer manager. We click on a layer manager, click on a plus to add a new layer. And because we are going to land survey the flower beds in the uh, background of our beautiful castle, select layer name and I'll type in flower bed. I think green will be a nice color and select OK. And there it is already. Select OK again. And then uh, next to the layer manager it says zero now. Once I click zero it says flower bed. Once I select flower bed everything I survey now will have the name flower bed. I'll zoom in and as you can see we're in the Netherlands and especially near the castle of Dassen, where our office is located. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. And I'll press also the pull down menu because you cannot, you can also zoom in not by using your fingers, but also you can press the plus. Again, I'll select the layer manager and again I press plus. I'll add another name, which I can call, I don't know the name of that one, but I'll say tree. And I'll make it green as well. 
press OK and then I'll add another layer <coughs> and I'll say uh, I don't know the name of the flower so if anybody knows the name of that flower but I'll enter flower and I think it has a pink color let's see if I have pink somewhere magenta is also a good color it matches nearly I'll press magenta again I say yes and I'll just add another layer and I'll say uh, I don't know what's called in, in English, but uh, uh, let's say bush. And I'll make it cyan. I'll press OK. So as you can see, I already added uh, four new layers. Then I'll say yes. I'll go to the screen next to it and say a flower bed because that's the first thing I'm going to land survey. You have to make sure that your coordinate reference system is correct so you go to the files menu click on other settings and here it is in the Netherlands we are in the Netherlands and then everything is correct so we click OK and now Ray can start to survey. Okay I'll start here because in my case this is the beginning for me otherwise I have to walk too much with the flower beds. Let's keep it a little bit straight because the, otherwise I will not survey at the point but I will survey in there. So keep it as straight as possible and always start with a point. Then I'm going to walk. <laughs> to the next point. But as it is a flower bed, I will use, instead of line, I will use polylines. Again, keep it a little bit straight and press polyline. I'm going up to the next point and again I'm pressing polylines. Keep it a little bit straight. I'm here. Again I'm here. Keep it again straight. Use polyline. So it looks like a thunderbolt. Next one, press polyline again, all the way up to here. Press polyline again, walk around the tree. I'll use polyline again. And then, as I'm nearly finished, and I think, okay, this I can make up to a square, I'll press the polygon. And automatically, it closes. I will survey the bushes. <laughs> and now I'm going to select next to the layer manager. It says now flower bed, but I want to survey the bush. I'll press bush. Oh, wow. Jump! <laughs> and I start again with point. And I'm going to use polylines again. 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 I'm going to disappear. And polyline again. Polyline, and I'm going to select polygon again. Wow, okay. There are also bees here, you know. Pfft. Keep it straight again, and again I start with point. Polyline. Polyline. Oh my god, I feel everything crawling here. <laughs> polyline. Polyline. And I'm in at the end and I'll use the polygon function. The last one. Last but not least. Oh, this is the hardest one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Some B was there. So again, I'll keep it as straight as possible. 
press a point again. Ooh, poly line. Ah. Walk around it. Poly line. And I close with polygon. And yes, up to the next one. So the next one in my list I already added at the layer manager. It says tree. One tree. And I made the tree green and there it is, the tree. So I'll put it in front and press point. And there's the tree. What else do I have? I also have flower. <laughs> it will take a lot of points. I'll just add one, okay? I love this one, it's nothing in there. So I'll put it in the middle, keep it straight and press point. So this is how you use the Trimble DA2 with the Trimble Mobile Manager app and Mgloss Survey Wizard to land survey on an iPhone. If you want to know more about Mgloss Survey Wizard GPS surveying, then watch this video.